Well, I quit my job. What's up everybody, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about why I quit my job recently. As I've already explained in previous videos about them cutting my hours at work and it'd be extremely stressful, there is some events that happened recently that really made my decision final. And that's what I'm gonna be explaining in this video. So back in January, from January to March, I was working every weekend. That's what they were scheduling me. Um, and I became really miserable. I started to hate it. That's back when I really hated my job. And I was just really tired of working every weekend. It was uncalled for. Um, not only were they cutting my hours, but I was working every weekend. So that stopped for a while. And then recently it became back. They started putting me on the schedule every weekend. And as soon as I seen it, I went right to the boss and I said, hey, I'd rather not work every other weekend. I'd rather have every other weekend off and work my regular weekends. And he said, yeah, that's no problem. He told me and he assured me he'll get it changed right away. Leave it with him. Nothing to worry about. So I assumed it was going to be dealt with, it was going to be covered, and I was not going to have to go to work that day, and there was going to be no problems. Not what happened. Um, I became sick, as I've already told you guys. I was unable to work for two weeks, so for those two weeks, I was unable to check the schedule to see if it was changed. I went by his word because he told me it was going to be changed, and I, pos I, sh I shouldn't have, but you usually are told to listen to your boss, so I did. Um, and then what happened... I got a text from my manager asking me if I was going to work that weekend. Now, number one, that was already supposed to be my weekend off. Number two, the boss had already told me he was going to be dealing with it. He was going to be changing it for me. So I told him, because at the time I wasn't expecting to still be sick. I texted him back saying, um, no, I'm not working that shift. I told him I'm not working that shift. But I did tell him I did not go and physically check that day because that day I did bring a doctor's note in. I forgot to go and check to see if it was changed. As being the manager, I assumed he will be the one that was going to go check. Let me know, yes, it has been changed or let me know, no, it hasn't been changed. We're expecting you. Because that didn't happen, I, I assumed I wasn't on the schedule still. I assumed it was changed. Then a couple days later, the Saturday of, I was supposed to work 11 to 4. Um, I was still sick, so I never woke up till around 12. I got a text around 12 from him saying, so I guess you're not showing up for your shift. So I texted him back saying, uh, I was still sick. Um, and then that Ken was supposed to change it, the boss. And he texted me back saying, no, that was supposed to be for the next schedule. So I texted him back saying, keyword, still sick. So he texted me back saying, uh, some heads up would have been nice. So I proceeded to tell him, I have told you the previous week, I was not coming in when you texted me earlier this week. That was your indication. I was not coming in when I told you I was not coming in. Left it at that late Sunday night going into Monday. I started to feel better. I'm physically fine. Now my health's back up. I'm happy again. I'm really happy. And the Monday um, I was supposed to work three to eight. Now I never gave any indication that I was not going to be in on Monday. Never gave any indication that I was going to be calling out sick. Never gave any doctor's note that said about Monday being off sick. I went in for my shift on Monday, worked supposed to work three to eight. So yes, not the greatest shift, but that's when I was to come in three to eight. So came in for my shift. The power recently went out. It was just coming back on. They still had to reboot all the computers before they opened up the store. So I came in, he see me right away. But he went the other way, my manager. Um, I put my water away. I put my coat away. I came back to the counter. And that's when he proceeded to tell me, your shift's covered today. You're not needed. Go home. Extremely rude. Ruder than I just said it there. And I was kind of pissed off. So I grabbed my stuff, said, what am I in next? And he said, not until Friday. So not only is that shift covered when I'm still healthy, I could have worked it. But the next two shifts are covered as well. So that's three shifts in total that you guys are screwing me out of. So I walked out the door and I called home to get a ride because I, they literally just left. I proceeded to go back in and pretty much tell him exactly what's on my mind because I was pissed off. So I went back in, I opened up the door, I said, when exactly was this decided that I was uh, <clears throat> not to come in? He said, well, he's just doing his job, blah, blah, blah. And I said, no, when was it decided? Because I think it's pretty unfair. You guys should have gave me a notice. You guys should have called me to let me know. And that's whenever shit kind of hit the fan because he says, we didn't know you were coming in. And I said, I never gave any indication. I said, I don't, I didn't give any indication that I was not coming in. And he said, well, we assumed you're coming in on Saturday. So once again, he's bringing up Saturday on me. And I said, no, 
Earlier last week, I said I was not coming in. That was your problem. You should have dealt with. And then he proceeded to turn around to pretend, and I knew he was pretending because the computers were down, pretended to try to work on the computer. So I looked on the schedule and I seen that the person that was coming in to cover my shift, I was supposed to be three to uh, eight. They weren't coming in until five. They were going to be working five to eight. So I assumed like any normal job would uh, likely do this. They would call, since I'm healthy to work and I'm in there right now on my shift, they would have called the other person to say, don't bother coming in. He's fine. He's back. He's healthy. Um, don't come in. He's able to work. And he didn't do that. He just tried to, he rudely sent me home. So I proceeded to open the door and I said, I might be in on Friday and I slammed the door. I left, went home, and because in Canada, they have to give you a 48 hour notice before canceling a shift, which they did not do. I called the labor board because the upstairs worker said I will not be paid for it. Called the labor board, they said I have to. Called back to work, told them that. And she, I guess she told the boss when he was back, so he's back on Tuesday, which is today. Um, so I got a call saying he's expecting to see me. By the way, I do just want to mention really quick, I've been sick for the past two weeks and apparently I'm not covered from work, so I have to go through unemployment. I came in to see the boss. Literally, it was a yelling match almost. He started to say that I told him I wasn't coming in on Monday and I've never said that, but he was certain of it. He was yelling it at me and screaming it at me. Um, and then he said that it was covered because they didn't know I was coming in. And I'm thinking to myself, you should have just had me work it and the coverage tell him not to come in. Normal job would have done that. And then the fact that uh, he just started yelling and screaming. So he wanted to know exactly if I'm able to come back to work. I said, I'm still waiting on a doctor's, uh, my results from the doctors, which I am. And he started yelling and screaming. Basically, the entire time I was sick, he's blaming me. And when you're sick, you're sick. You got to take care of your health. Your health comes first. And it's not your fault if you become sick ever. So uh, he was kind of blaming that I was sick and it's not my fault. So I was getting angry and I, so he, he, wanted, he kept demanding a yes or no answer. So I told him, no, I'm not going to be in on, uh, on Friday. Fine coverage. I started talking again. He goes, well, uh, started yelling and screaming again. He goes, well, you're able to work on Monday, but now all of a sudden you're not able to work on Friday. And I said, yeah, like I just mentioned, I'm still waiting on results. You wanted an answer. That was my answer. I said, okay, I am able to work. I will be in on Friday. I will work it. He said, okay. And that was kind of the end of the conversation. It was just both of us were yelling. Both, both of us were pissed off. It was time for me to leave. At the time I said, yes, I'll be on Friday. In my head, I'm thinking I'm only coming in on Friday to quit. I'm not working it screw you guys. I'm going to be screwing you guys for that day. And you guys are going to have to find coverage last minute, but I'm quitting that day. So this Friday will be when I quit. I'm really excited moving forward. I'm really happy I've gotten here and I'm able to do what I'm doing. Honestly, the stress and everything just boiled up and literally it boiled over to that. In the previous video, I think I mentioned about security guard courses. After talking to him, my boss, my former boss now, I went home and I got a call or I got an email from the security guard place because he wanted me to go about 30 minutes away and apply at their um, office there. But I said, I didn't want to miss any papers. What did I need? So he emailed me back saying, you know what? Let's save you a trip. Call this number tomorrow. Um, talk to this lady. Pay for it there. Send me the consent form. Uh, fill it out. Send it to him. And that will save me a lot of headaches. And I was extremely happy. I was like, yes. Uh, everything that happens with work, me going in, me say, me making, me finally making the decision that I'm going to quit. And then as soon as I got home, having the email that the next phase in my life, the security guard courses, uh, is a go. And I got the confirm that I'm going to be doing it. Everything kind of lined up perfectly. I am however going to be quitting on Friday. It is Tuesday right now because I want to have the satisfaction of telling them off. I want to have the satisfaction of uh, screwing them over, uh, like they've been screwing me for the past five years. That was probably not the best way I could have phrased that, but it is what it is. And I'm just really excited that I have my security card courses lined up. Now, if you're wondering what they are and if they are legit, yes, they are legit. It's straight from the uh, Canadian commissioners. Once I am done that, I do have to get my first aid, which I'm okay with. Um, I really want to get that anyways. Um, but it's an online course with the commissioners. Once I pass uh, and finish the whole thing, which I'm really certain I will, because I'm really looking forward to the next phase of my life, 
I can work with any security guard company across Canada. Um, and I already know a lot of the wages. I do know people that work it and it is going to be a really amazing job for me. I am a bigger built person. Uh, people have recommended security guard for me for years. I thought I'd have more growth at work. I thought I'd be getting farther in my job, but it just isn't. So comment down below any questions you have for somebody that works Canadian Tire, works a retail job, works automotive parts, um, works automotive service. And in a future video, I will answer all the questions you guys have. I really want to let people know what it's really like to work at Canadian Tire. I think in my previous videos, you guys will understand that. But if any questions you have, I will be answering in the future. Like I said, my security, guard my security guard courses, I will give you guys updates in the future of how it's going. And I'm just really happy with the phase of my life. I'm happy it lined up like it is. Like I'm sick, I'm pissed off with work, hate my job, uh, everything, all the events that happen at work, deciding I'm quitting my job, getting the email that it's a go for my security guard courses. And tomorrow I'll be calling them and getting it uh, paid for. So I'm really happy with where my life is going. And I'm really happy with where the channel is going. And I do get a little bit more time right now to do videos for you guys and work a little bit harder on my online store and for you guys while I'm doing my courses. I'll leave this video here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.